There's been a dismal response to the Bailiw government scheme to improve safety on our railway stations. And insiders have told Seven News the plan to have armed security officers on every station is fraught with logistical problems. The plan is to have 940 protective services officers to guard us on railway stations. After a high profile launch last week, just 100 applications have been received. How many have been approved? In the last few weeks, uh, there's six that have been approved to go into the intake in November this year. The police minister, Peter Ryan, isn't discouraged, describing the early response as significant. But the state opposition sees it very differently. Is it any wonder, really, that Victorians are not too interested in becoming one of these public transport protective service officers to work between 6pm and the last train uh, on a train station with no toilet, with no shelter? And Labor says the scheme's cost has blown out by more than $80 million. This policy is a complete shambles. It may make good political sense, um, but it is not well thought through. Insiders say another possible headache ahead for the scheme is the police pods which will be placed on each station. After last train they'll be unattended and exposed to possible graffiti or even arson attack. And with no cars allocated, no one can say how PSOs will get to and from the stations after picking up their guns from police stations. The Minister's office says these operational matters are still being worked through by Victoria Police. Norm Beeman, 7 News.